everybody and welcome to another vlog. I'm so glad that you're here. We started out our morning wonderfully because I think his sleep regression might be ending. He had six solid hours of uninterrupted sleep so I was very happy and as you can see he was very happy this morning. Normally I wake up to him crying but instead I woke up on my own and he was playing in his bed so it was wonderful. But I'm starting out by changing his diaper, of course, because that's what you do. And I gave him some little cuddles when I picked him up out of his bed. And so that's how we're starting this day. And this is me wishing that I had eight arms because he refuses to let me put him down when I'm getting his bottle. So he likes to just sit there and watch, but that makes it incredibly difficult, but that's just the mom life. So <laughs> if you're wondering how to prepare yourself for mom life, just carry like a 30 pound sack of potatoes everywhere while you try and do things with one hand. And of course, nothing wakes me up and makes me feel like the day has started more than opening the blinds and letting the sunlight in. And Simeon was just feeling extra cuddly today. I don't know what it was, but I will take it because I know someday he's not going to want these cuddles. So I just cuddled him until I felt like he was ready to play. And this is me mentally, spiritually, and emotionally preparing for the explosion that is in my son's pants. He has started solids, so y'all know how that goes. But changing his diaper these days is like he is a flipping fish, and it is impossible. And they say, oh, give them a toy to distract them. Well, let me tell you, parenting experts, that doesn't always work. <laughs> oh, man. Success! I don't know what it is about my porch because I realize that we're in the city and it is, you know, there's power lines everywhere and they're building even more apartments or whatever, but I just feel a sense of peace when I come out here and I just love it. I feel like I'm on top of the world. So I had a little moment outside and then I made my bed and if you've been following me for a while, you know, I tried to get into that habit but I kind of broke it because my life had been so crazy. But I'm back on the train, I cleaned the house, and I'm trying to keep it that way. So I did make the bed, not in like a cute way, just in a functional way. And then I put David's sweats on the bed for him. Then I started the dishes, because we had a little bit of dishes left over. And again, I'm trying to keep the house as clean as possible because I just deep cleaned the whole thing with my roommate Heidi. And I'm trying to keep it that way. And tell me this. Is there anything more satisfying than sudsing the entire sink, scrubbing it down, and then rinsing it all away to reveal a shiny, beautiful sink? I don't think so. When you become an adult, man, it's the little things in life, isn't it? So 
So since it is summer, I thought I would share with you two ways that I use my essential oils. I want to do a whole dedicated video on it, but today I will just show you two. So this is my cleaning solution that I use for my counters and my table. I switch between this and the Mrs. Myers cleaners, um, but if I don't feel like going to the store, then I have all this handy. So I put about 10 drops of peppermint, probably about 10 drops of Thieves. Thieves is a really good cleaner. Peppermint just smells super fresh. And then I put about 10 drops of lemon in there. And then you'll see in a second, I'm going to put the tiniest little drop of a natural dish soap. This is the Mrs. Myers, I believe it's the honeysuckle one. And see that? Just the tiniest little bit. Then you're going to fill the rest up with water. You're going to shake it. And then you are golden. But just a tip, make sure that you're using a glass bottle because essential oils can eat away at plastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you my ant solution. We have realized this summer that we kind of have an ant issue in our townhouse. So the way that I combat that is with tons of peppermint. So you want to put like 20 to 30 drops in here, okay? I had already had a little bit of solution left in this bottle, so I think I only added like 10 drops or something. So you want to do peppermint and then some sort of citrus. So I use orange because I've heard that ants hate orange. And so I put, you know, 10 to 30 drops of that in there. And I know I said use a glass bottle, but since I'm just killing ants with this, I don't really mind as much. So I make sure to spray this wherever they're coming out of. So whatever hole they're coming out of, where they frequent often. So, you know, the little corners and crevices of the wall, stuff like that, windowsills, and it will get rid of them or at least keep them at bay if you want a more natural solution. So I'm just showing you how this cleaning solution works so you can see how wonderful it is. He seriously sat here and watched an entire episode of Bear in the Big Blue House. He was just doing his thing, living his best life. It was the most adorable thing ever. So then my friend Lindsay actually called and she said, hey, can I watch your baby and you can go do something fun or, you know, run some errands or do something that you need to do. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. So do that for your friends who have babies. Just check up on them. Okay. So me and Heidi, my roommate, went to my sister's house and we went to the pool and had a little bit of drinks and just had a super relaxing time. And I got a little sun, and it was great. Also, look how much my freckles come out when I'm in the sun. Oh my gosh. So, technically, I did make dinner. I just made it several months ago, and then I portioned out and I froze it. And so this is what we had for dinner. It was like a chili soup and it was super good. No. <laughs> no. No, you can't have it.
No! <laughs> He's red. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Then we kind of let dinner just simmer away and David put together a shelf to go in our closet so we don't just have a bunch of random crap stacked in there. It can actually be organized. So that was so nice of him. He gets to check one thing off of his honeydew list. And here was dinner. I put a bit of vegan sour cream on top and some crumpled tortilla chips. It was so bomb. And that was the end of my night, guys. I watched some YouTube, and now I'm editing this video as we speak. But I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you want, ain't no thing. And I will see you in my next one.